Good day and welcome back to another vlog, another thingy my bob. We are currently up at up and going. It's early morning, it's about 5 30 in the morning. We are at the Fries, which is where I guess this whole thing started. This is where it's home. Yeah, this is what we call home. This is where we always are mainly. But it's the bottom of Bruni Island. Um, we started doing the vlogs here. We also started doing the live streams on TikTok here. So this is sort of where we, we started our little social media content thing. Pretty much so, where we started fishing. And it's sort of where we started fishing. It's where I sort of started fishing as well. So yeah, yeah it's beautiful. Beautiful place. That's that side. That side's nice. That side, what's over there? That's nice. It's pretty good. There's a whole bunch of islands just here. Uh, there's the known as the Friars. There's some more islands over there. Little rocks and islands, whatever you want to call them. So it is day three so it's day three uh we got about 550 odd lobos on board so those are kept down here in this tank and uh we are yeah pulling the night shot so we put these in last night and we're pulling them this morning and then we're going to take these out wide and we're going to go get ourselves some brindles we've got about we're going to get about a ton of brindles 700 kilos of reds uh, the reds have to go to a processor because we got quota, uh, which is why we're fishing. I, did, I, I think I said at the end of the last vlog we're done fishing till March or something, but we're back. Um, and we also have to uh, sell the other lobsters off the wharf. So I think three or 400 kilos I might sell to a pro, uh, small processor and then the rest will sell off the wharf for Australia Day slash um, Chinese New Year period. Um, yeah, so anyway, enjoy, good morning, and welcome to the fries again, if you're watching from the start. Yeah, welcome. Let's go catch some lobsters. I wanted to sleep in, but I can't have one. we got to work. So, catch some lobsters.
guys. Big girl. Take you. Photo view in a second. How many of this one? a really nice morning but i think it's gonna be a little bit windy later i don't know the forecast says it the forecast says it's supposed to be a bit windy right now but i think we're a bit sheltered i don't know i don't know how long's the piece of string i don't know stop flapping i need to be quick what the f are you saying this people are you saying this oh i would have i would have been perfectly fine thank you very much Didn't even put the bloody floats in the bin. Didn't even put the bloody... Oh, this guy. This guy, I'll tell you what. No, I'm gonna have to take my jumper off, it's too hot. It's like, it's like 15 degrees, it's way too hot. Oh, don't, I'm, I'm not working. I'm not working. No, I'm so mad. It better be. If you guys could see my face right now, you'd see how disgusted I am. It's like nice hot weather. Yeah, it's good. But when you full wet weathers, jacket and everything, because it's a bit windy, it's not nice. It's not nice at all. It's like... It's not nice. Oh... Not keen. It's not supposed to get to 29 in Tasmania. It's supposed to be cold here. But a shark. I'll tell you what's happened here is the sharks got in before the lobsters and made it so the lobsters don't get in the pot. Generally, what happens? Time to do our research pot, which is this one here. There are little green pots. Little. Little. Same size, but. So these tend to catch a lot smaller lobsters, and then Lockie will measure them individually with his. With his. Female 90. Female 90, done. Stick to that there, and you can watch Lockie work. We don't just measure them and throw them back and not record anything. Female 87. Female 89. Female 88. Male 106 Male 
102. Female 88. Female 102. Female 82. Female 95. Male 107. Male 87. We've got a problem. See that? All of our bones in there, mate. Bloody sea loss. I know you can't see any. There might be some. All these little wiggly critters. Sea loss. And they destroy the bait. And Bryce is not happy. He's sad. But the hard thing about the sea loss is we basically lost half of our gear to the sea loss. So out of the 26 odd pots that we had running from over there, around around this rock, just here. It's basically, I think it was 18 of them had uh, sea lice, so they were completely and utterly useless. There you go. Like it's, yeah, it is what it is, but it's a pain in the ass, but we did manage to get one bin and a couple, one bin and a couple out of that, couple of pots. So you could imagine what it would have been like if we didn't get sea lice. We would have uh, probably hit 100 for the for the. So as I was saying before the GoPro cut out on me, we would have ended up with 80, 90, 100 out of that first half if the numbers kept staying consistent. But because of the sea lice, we just lost everything under the sun, and it was just yeah, wasted pots. But we just pulled the first two uh, in the other little bit of air, an area. The bait seems reasonable there's meat left and then you end up with lobsters like this like you can get one out but you know nice sized nice reds so you know it's just that 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 issue of it is what it is it is what it is we get what we get we don't get upset so see what's in the next ones bird That's a big dog. Not bad. Couple of kilo. Barely even hold them on the back of your little hands. Your little hands. Your little hands, mate. Little hands make things look big, don't they? Some people try and say it's a 
baby gurnard or whatever, but no, it's a scorpion fish. Yeah, they're just the normal bloody Ferrari crabs or red bait crabs as they're called. saved us with that little bit and now it's on to uh, the 50s. I thought there was only like three fifties. Oh there's probably some 25s mixed in over there. I don't know, I'm not the skipper. It's your job. So nice here. It's gonna be windy as all hell Friday. They're talking five, six metres and 40, 50 knots or something here. So I don't know where we're going to be or what we're going to be doing, but it sounds exciting. Shark did a belly smack. Swim. Yeah, there's a little reef just here. We did all right here. And the, this, these two rocks here are called Tom and Jerry. Um, that's what we call them. I don't know if that's their actual name or not. I think they're, but I think they're called the Fries group. So, and then, um, and my mum, what else? Yeah, last time we were here, we got sea lost around the reef and Tom and Jerry, and we didn't get sea lost over at the Southern Fryer, but now it's the other way around. So we're gonna go pull these last ones that were sea lost and then um, head out wide. There'll probably be a bit of a day shot um, in this video as well. You know, there's probably only a few more pots we'll show and then we'll head out wide, shoot some in, and then we'll show you the day shot. Yesterday we did all right at 200 for the day shot. So anyway, we'll see you guys for some more lobos. Stop.
pot done and dusted. Uh, we got one pot missing. However, we got to come back in here tonight, so I'll have a triple check. We did drive around everywhere. Lockie's putting the lobbers down now. Uh, yeah, yeah, a bit sus on that missing pot. But anyway, we're steaming out wide. We're gonna get out of here. Looks like the camera lens is dirty. I'm just gonna give you a rubbing. Yep, yep. It's a good rub. Good rub. shot the gear in we're on anchor so we are anchored out at sea on what we call a morris morris anchor it's a deep sea anchor um i've explained that in a few other videos i think but um yeah so we're anchored out here all the gears obviously off deck um you know empty empty line bins and that baits out defrosting ready for this afternoon it's 11 30 in the morning we've had breakfast had a, had a snack as well, um, rested a bit, and now it's time to um, sort of lay down and have a good sleep. Uh, we tend to sleep for a couple of hours and then get up at about 1.30, get things ready, gives Lockie half an hour to do out there. I'll clean up in here, clean the windows, get everything ready, uh, check weather, do all that sort of stuff on my end. Um, and yeah, we yeah, this is just time, time to have a nap. We have. Yeah, a couple of hours. Yeah, it's good. And the bed's looking pretty cozy to be honest because all this sun, nice comfy bed. 
I'm pretty keen to lay in it. So this vlog's gonna be a bit here, there, everywhere. We're gonna show you, obviously, this morning. We showed you this morning, redfish, and now we're out here catching some brindles, so we'll show you clips of that, and then we'll finish that off with dinner tonight. And then tomorrow, we'll probably start the actual vlog, you know, a full video for the morning, a full video for the afternoon. Um, I think the weather's moving in. It's a bit of northerly now at the moment. Um, yeah, anyway, enough jibber jabbering. We'll see you all for the day shot. There should, fingers crossed, I don't want to jinx us, but fingers crossed there should be some, some nice lobos this afternoon, I hope. So, see you after. Romeo, I have had no response to a call on a Mangana or Nelson base, uh, so I would imagine you are the closest. a bit scary I was just um, actually just watching a YouTube video about a kayaker who died on his way to New Zealand and he was only about 80k offshore and drowned they believe and, and that and then I just heard on the radio that there's a man overboard oh, a fair bit that way Primrose Sands it's a while away from where we are and someone's fallen out of their boat and the boat's sitting there and they can't get back to it and someone can see it from shore or something like that so the ocean's a uh, very unforgiving place so i'll kick the ear out for the radio and find out if the, the fella or woman's all good all right it's go go time if you're wondering what's on my face it's zinc for a lot of you non-australians we use zinc it's a sunscreen it's very thick because out here in the ocean, you get a lot of glare from the ocean, from the sun beaming down into your face. Even with these windows in here tinted, you get burnt in here very easily. Lockie's covered in sunscreen. Um, and then you get the sun itself. When you turn the boat around, the sun comes in the windows. Anyway. Now, we're on anchor. Now, I've sort of described it before on a, a knot. We're in the middle of the ocean, on anchor, in 27 fathom, all right? So, to explain this, I've drawn a picture. It's not a very good picture, so I'll show you that. Now, I might even put this picture there. What we have here is, we have the boat. This line that runs down is called the main line. There's some rocks and the anchor. There's a bit of chain on the, on the anchor, about six meters or something like that. Now, the anchor grabs onto some rocks, special anchor, and we hang off of that. This line is like 200 meters or something long. So it's quite quite a long line, right? And then you have over here on the front of the anchor, there's a, sort of like a shackle, and another line. And this line is known as a trip line. And it goes up to a set of floats. Now what we do here is we unhook it from here. We tie some extra floats, which I'll show you up there in the basket. And then we let this go and we drive away and go pull the gear and we come back and we join back on and that's how we anchor, right? But if we want to pull the anchor, you can do two things. You can pull it from the main line, but you're sort of pulling against the rocks and you can snap things. Or you drive around, you grab the floats for your trip line and you pull the anchor from the front. So it unjams it, up it comes, and then you put all the line in the baskets. We'll go outside and I'll show you exactly what I mean. So what we have here, these floats here, is our main line Morris line. So these things just drift around. That's how we identify what it is. That's there. We've got, obviously our anchor is on board with our anchor chain for inshore anchoring. We have two other Morrises in the bin over there, the spares, different types of anchors. Here's this main line. So that runs way down onto a rock. Apologies for the wind. And right there, 
That's the trip line. We are a lot closer than we're meant to be because I ran this over a year ago and I've shortened it. So we do need to add to this, but yeah. So we're gonna drive forward. Lockie's gonna grab this, untie the knot, tie these on, tie them on, throw them over. We drive away and it stays there. And we come back and it's there. So nice and simple. Lockie's got bait ready to go. We got mackerel, bonito, salmon, cooter. Good selection there, mate. Cocktails. You trying to please someone? Lobsters. Just lobsters. Lobsters. Just nice. Lobsters. Lots of them. Lava. And everyone else, this is a grapple. This is what we use. Uh, I need to weld inside of there here um, because you can snap these quite easily. It has already been welded there. as extra because they, they don't come with that. So they bend very easily and stuff, but I do need to weld up a bit. But this is the grapple. It's on a swivel down there with a rope. It's about 10 fathom, 10 fathom. Lockie can throw it to 8.6 fathom at the moment. Here we go. It's probably the first time ever he's ever in his, and even he knows that, oh. ever in his entire life he's thrown. It did have a big curve in it. It wasn't like a straight, like the grapple didn't grab it and like have to twing, twang back. Oh, it's, that, that wind's there. It's helping him. Oh, it was taking it hard. It was taking it hard. Yeah. He's getting there. He used to only throw up five fathom and that was a struggle. So, you know, now he's, now he's twice the size. He's a big boy. He eats bananas. That's right. So, all right. We're gonna get some lobos. I'll show you the trip line too. Oh, the main line. All right, so I'm gonna drive onto it slightly sideways. So I'm sort of gonna to aim towards the um, the trip line, this one here, which is these three floats, just so I know where it is because the bow is up in the air as we slowly run out of fuel. Because we didn't refuel after the last trip either. Don't need to. So, got a bit of tide as well and wind just blowing us back. So it's my job now to keep the boat right sort of where we are. He's just sort of gonna semi put his foot on the line, but if it pulls on the line, he knows he has to let go of it. Um, and we can just retrieve it shortly after. But he's untying it there, tying that on. I'm making sure the line we don't want to run that line over. I can see that pretty well. It's running in a bit of a curve and then going back that way. Just start drifting here backwards in a sec. He's just finishing the knot. I'm going to start reversing now. See the line's running out. Now he's taking his foot off it. Pull back away. Oh, three floats. Done. Don't know what he's doing, but he's doing something. Time for lobsters. There you go again, in case you want to see it. So, yeah, this time of year, the lobsters are still quite abundant. You can still catch a good couple. 
uh, they're just a bit nit nit picky with where you are, the type of bottom, and all that sort of thing. So anyway, I'm sure you all want to get some close up of some lobster. So I'll pass you the lock. SD card had decided to go corrupt just as Lockie pulled out the 11th. Was it 11? Yeah. It was 11. Oh, we ended up with 12 out of that pot that you would have seen. But now we're back. We've got 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 11, 12 pots up. So, nice keeper right there. And maybe. And then maybe one maybe in the corner. Two out of this one. Got a foot lobo. So, because it's very hot today, and sunny, look at that, beautiful day. We need to put these down very frequently. So very shortly, we're gonna put these guys down. We do hose them down just a little bit um, as well. To, so, yeah. Bird, albatross, I think the largest, well, the species of bird has the largest wingspan in the world. Pretty impressive. We've been joined by some dolphins.
Little fella held on. Oh, I don't have gloves, so I can't hold you. Another one. A couple of nice ones in there. Might be a fiver. Consistent fivers are good. Isn't that right, Birdie? Good. We got lobsters on lobsters. It's time to get these guys in the tank. This pot here, I'm thinking, it could be a tenner. This pot could be a tenner. Oh, actually, what do we got here? There's a tag too. So tag number, oh, when he gets his tail out of the way. Oh, if I can get this Robo out. No, it doesn't want to come out. Doesn't want to let go of everything. All right. So, so all we have here is a lobster with a tag in it. So there's the tag there, nicely placed. It is a male, and its tag number is, it's upside down there, 545480. So we tagged a lot of fish here going back a year. Not, not quite a year, but close to a year ago. And I'm gonna get hit by a wave in a second. And we tagged these fish, so that lobster would have been measured and the size would have been known when it was tagged. And we write it down now, put it in the tagged information. That information is sent back to IMAS, who can then go, well, this is the lobster nine months ago. And this is the lobster now. So that lobster was not sized and now it is sized. So it's got a growth rate of this per whatever. So useful information, keeps the industry moving, keeps us you know, informed of what's happening here, there, everywhere. So good, good. But in the meantime, I'm gonna start putting fish down. Lockie's going to measure these, this good pot. So what do you reckon? sort of filled up this bin plus this business so trying to get these guys in the tank they're all nice and happy anyway they've been sprinkled all day so we'll put them in the tank and we'll see you in a sec
give you a few seconds. Be right in the comments, you know. Right, there's half. 116. Oh, so close. 116, so. Not too bad. Off 25 pots. 150 would have been nicer, but is what it is. So, on to the next ones. Time to pull the rest. We've still got lobsters coming. Lobster after lobster. We just need more. If only there was another pot. Could have missed, could have been on its side, but I know we did struggle to get it up there for a second, so I'm gonna presume it was in this little crack. Nice crack as well, so. Let's have a sticky beak, what was in here. Take the boat out of gear. Um, yeah, there's a lot, of, a lot of nice bottom around it, nice tails, nice looking stuff. Here it is. That's all she wrote. That's the buddy day shot done and dusted. And we've got, what do we got here? We've got a little draft board shark to finish off the day. Oh, if Bruce stays still for a second. And you go back in the water. Oh, hold up. There they are. There he is, Bruce. Pretty cool little creature, but yeah, stick on back. Away they go, and we've got a nice lobo in this one. We can't complain with that. Nice lobo in the bin of lobos. Nice. Nothing to complain about with all of them. I only got one out of your fiver. Oh, did we? Yeah. Rat City on these last few pots. Yeah, I was trying for some smaller numbers. Smaller fish. I've got my smaller numbers and smaller fish too. But anyway, nice. So, time to stick these lobos in the tank yet again, get wet, and we're going to steam all the way back to over there. It's only about 25 minutes or something like that. So, yeah, get some more reds. I'm going to get wet. You guys are going to go on a time lapse with Lockie. And yeah, Lockie's going to put a jacket on in the sun because he's going to get very wet.
didn't really film much because we're still just it takes a bit for us to get used to filming again uh just sticking cameras in the face cameras all over the dash outside running the sd cards and all that sort of shit so tonight i'm going to set up a camera editing charging station again and get all that ready to go i've got the laptop out now the hard drives yeah anyway, i'll sort that out however we did end up finding the missing pot uh whether i said that or not we were missing one this morning i had suspicions it might have been ran over by another boat however uh it wasn't i just it was on the opposite side of where i thought it was it had been dragged down because even when we found it this afternoon it was bobbing so got that back that's good had two size lobos in it so i was pretty pretty chuffed with that which brings us to 80 which was our minimum this morning that we wanted so 80 this morning 175 this afternoon so a decent day um i was sort of hoping for a th you know a 300 plus day but that, it's good enough that is that is good enough uh trying to think what else it's about that's about it really but this is sort of a for those that are new this is sort of a day in the life day night day night it's what we do twice a day we pull the gear shoot the gear um we cook clean everything's on the boat for those that haven't seen before i'm upstairs in the wheelhouse and as we come down these stairs this is the galley so this is where we cook eat uh sometimes sleep on the couch you know we've got everything we need on this boat regarding food things odds and ends cleaning gear um same goes for all the stuff in the engine room you know you try and carry every spare you can and that sort of thing up the back here is locky section there's a big bus seat that dad had re redone a fair few years ago it's nice and cozy up there especially when you're punching into it uh yeah we might show you a quick little bit of dinner when, when it's made but locky wants the decos He's chopping up the bait. He's chopping up some Benito uh, for, for tomorrow morning. So what he'll do tonight is he'll make all his bait savers up tonight, ready to go for tomorrow morning, because why not do it now so you can have a sleep into the morning? Because otherwise he's got to get up 40 minutes early in the morning. So if he gets up now, uh, does it now, he doesn't have to get up 40 minutes earlier. We can just wake up, coffee, turn boat on, go. Done and dusted. There's an albatross just chilling wanting some food wanting some snacks and yeah this is the anchorage it's called pine log it is uh what, probably one of my favorites just because it's so cliffy and all the way down to uh west cloudy uh, east cloudy head and then you know, i guess west cloudy's on the other side so yeah beautiful evening plenty of wind's going to be coming straight down the cliffs so we did let up uh extra anchor chain we're in eight fathom and we let out, ooh, we let out a good, solid, probably 90 meters of chain, I'd say, a solid amount of chain. But anyway, sweet as, we'll see you for some dinner.
might have forgot to film dinner, but there's some salad left over. That's, that's about it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> hopefully you enjoyed this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If it's your first time here, don't forget to subscribe. If you've watched a bunch, or you've got questions about anything, do comment below, ask questions, give it a like, give it a dislike, I don't care. Just let us know how you went, what you thought of it. And yeah, any questions about Lockie especially, you know, there's lots of questions that be asked about him. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you very much. And we'll see you on the next one.